Now we are going to play for you the voice of Femi Adesino. <laughs> Do you know why those scholars someone the courage to ask that question? Because of what we are doing in IPOB, we have opened their eyes. The eyes and ears of people are now open. Forget all the things they tell you. They all listen to Radio Biafra because they know that I speak the truth. They know that I've been ordained by heaven to preach the gospel of redemption, not just for Biafra, but for everybody. And they know it. Now, listen, let us hear what the presidential spokesman has to say. After, should I say, I'll say months, after months of lying and deceiving themselves, finally they have admitted it, that when I was telling you it was recorded, somebody wrote and said, oh, forget it, it's recording, is nothing. I said, what do you know? What do you know? If you have a president and in the midst of crisis, that president cannot, even if he's on a sick bed, to address the people, and you can fault Buhari anyhow you like, to be honest with you. One thing you cannot accuse the late Buhari of is abandoning the north. A whole canoe. His, his, his bedrock. Canoe, which is his strongest base. Dying like this and he will not say something. Oh, it's not Buhari now. That means you, you, don't, you don't even know him very well. That was when I knew that Buhari was a no, no confirmation that he's no more. And I thought that people who claim they went to school will be able to understand that. That this man is no longer there. But you know what they did? Oh, oh forget now. It doesn't matter. Uh, he, he should be not the only broadcast. <laughs> Zoo. That is why they are experimenting with you. Because you have no brain. You cannot reason. A whole president cannot address the people live. That means he's dead. Life means living. People who are living. Recorded means people who are dead. So you don't know that before? Let us hear what uh, Femi Adeshina has to say. They wanted to stop this broadcast. They know it is an earthquake. It will crumble whatever is left. That Those rooms that coronavirus hasn't entered in Asorok, it will enter it tonight. Now but it will enter there. Let us uh, listen to Femi Adeshina squirming and lying. Look at his eyes. Listen. Our president, the, his speech is not always live speech. Mm -hmm. Like the last speech that he gave was leaked. I want to know why it was leaked. Even as he was reading it on the television, I've already read it. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. What you read on the internet was not the authentic version. <laughs> it was an early version early. that a mischief maker got hold of and released on social media. Mm -hmm. And there were so many discrepancies between that version and the final version. And then, why is it not live? Not all broadcasts are live. <laughs> not all broadcasts are live. Presidential broadcasts are really live. <laughs> they are really live. They are pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. One or two hours before broadcast. Are you listening? Broadcasts are really live. Honestly, it is, it is very important that we inform here that a president that was elected by Nigerians mm -hmm. eh, can be called to be spoken to Nigerians at any point in time. And it beats my imagination mm -hmm. that each time you are being interviewed, the way you speak to Nigerians, you speak to Nigerians as though Nigerians are just used tissue paper. Uh -huh. These things, are, these things are, not, are not good at all. That's it, you Yes, well, for you to come here the way, with your level of education the way you to tell see yourself. If you choose to see yourself as used tissue paper, then <laughs> you are speaking with Nigerians, so you have to at least give us some respect. <laughs> they are tissue paper. Yeah, 